Little Scout is a Hider, with illustrations by Dolly to Artificial Intelligence. The Little Scout is an adorable kitten. He came from a house with a toddler, a dog, and two larger cats. They ate his cat food. They chased him, and if they caught him, bad things would happen to the Little Scout. The Little Scout learned to hide from them. He learned to hide very well. If they found him in one of his hiding places, he would not use that hiding place again because he knew that they would look for him there the next time. Little Scout found many, many good hiding places and always used a different one every time so they could never find him. The Little Scout was smart. He learned to trick the other cats. He could trick the dog and even the baby human toddler. He learned the layout of their house and even found little paths where he could run where they couldn't see him. He would trick them by moving slowly to a place near one of his hidden paths. When they saw him there, he would go behind something so they couldn't see him, then run very fast through the hidden path to hide somewhere else while they looked for him near the last place he was seen. One day, an old man came to their house and adopted the little scout. He took the little scout to a new home where there was no toddler. There was no dog. There wasn't even another kitty. From then on, the little scout lived with the old man in his new home where he had no one to hide from. In time, the little scout adopted the old man who became the little scout's person. The very first thing that the little scout's person did after adopting him was to take him to Grandma's house. This person had been trying to adopt a kitty for the longest time and had told Grandma about the search for a kitty. Grandma adored the little scout, but little scout was afraid. He didn't know where he was or who these new people were. He didn't know what might happen to him next. He curled up right between Grandma and his new person where they could protect him if a dog or a toddler was there. Grandma said, he isn't right. There must be something wrong with him. The little scout's person explained that he came from a house with a toddler and a big dog and this made the little scout afraid. He was staying close to them because he thought that they would be his protector. His person said that he wanted a kitty who would be right by him most of the time and that he could work with this. Soon the little scout's person brought him home to a big house where they would live from then on. The little scout didn't stop hiding. Hiding had become a game for the little scout and he was very good at it because the toddler, the dog, and the other cats would find him if he wasn't a real good hider. Sometimes his newly adopted person would look for him and was unable to find him. His person got worried that the little scout might have gotten outside and gotten lost. His person thought, what if he doesn't know his way back to our house? How will the little scout find his way home? Sometimes the little scout's person would find him behind the cushions of the sofa. At other times he would be found under the bed or in a closet. Whenever his person would look for him, the person would look in all the places where he had found the little scout hiding before but would never find him there. The little scout would be in a new hiding place. The little scout was better at hiding than his person was at finding him. He was smarter than a person, at least when it came to hiding. One day, the little scout's person went to the door to get a package that had been delivered by a company owned by the world's baldest man. As soon as the door was open, the little scout ran outside. His person called to him, but the little scout just kept running. The little scout ran around to the side of their house. 
As soon as he was around the corner where his person couldn't see him, he found a big bush that he could hide under. His person came running around the corner of the house, but the little scout was nowhere to be seen. The little scout was a good hider. The little scout's person looked all over the yard for him, but couldn't find him because he was hiding so well. His person called out to him, but the little scout kept hiding. Eventually, the little scout's person searched all over the neighborhood looking for him, but he was nowhere to be found. Finally, after searching everywhere for him, his person found the little scout under the bush where he had been hiding all along. He brought the little scout back in the house. He sat on the sofa with the little scout in his lap petting him and letting him know how much he was loved and how happy his person was to have him safe at home again. The little scout's person got some clothes for him and a leash to attach to a metal ring on his clothes. From time to time, his person would put the little scout's clothes and leash on him and take him for a walk outside around the neighborhood. Sometimes he would carry the little scout in his arms. Other times the little scout would walk alongside his person. It was important for the little scout to learn what the neighborhood looked like and how to get home to their house in case he ever got lost outside again. Every night when his person was going to bed, the little scout would curl up right next to him and purr until his person fell asleep. Then the little scout would have the entire house to himself. The little scout would sneak away and spend the entire night playing with all the toys he found in their house. The little scout liked to play all night because cats are nocturnal predators. They like to hunt for mice and other critters at night. Every morning as the dawn's early light started to illuminate the world, the little scout would creep back into the bed and cuddle up next to his person. That way, when he woke up, his person thought that the little scout had been there with him the whole night. The first thing that the little scout's person did every morning was to open a can of cat food and give it to the little scout. The first thing the little scout did after breakfast was go and hide. His person would look all over for him, but he would be nowhere to be found. The little scout was a good hider. He hid inside a rolled-up carpet. If a drawer was left open on the dresser, the little scout would sometimes hide in there. He hid under a pile of laundry. He even hid under the dresser where his person had to take out the bottom drawer to get him out of there. He hid on top of the refrigerator. When they were at Grandma's house, he found that he could jump from the floor to the kitchen counter. From there, he could hop on top of the refrigerator, and from the refrigerator, he could hop on top of Grandma's kitchen cabinets. It was like a big nest up there where he could see all around, but nobody would notice him way up there. Hiding was the first game that the little scout learned, but soon his person brought a piece of string for them to play with. His person moved the string and the little scout would chase after it. As time passed, little scout's person brought new toys into the house for him to play with. No dogs or small children showed up. Eventually, the little scout didn't hide as much as he did at first. He liked to play other games instead, and he liked being close to his person where they could comfort each other and love each other. They couldn't do that when he was hiding. The little scout still hides when he wants to take a nap or when he wants some quiet time, but he doesn't hide as much as he used to.